Well, our political reporter Jenny Davidson joins us now. You better explain to us, first of all, this financial settlement tonight. Well, the Treasury has just announced that it's doubling the amount of additional COVID funding that it's giving to the devolved administrations. Now, in the case of Scotland, that means 440 million. But there is a dispute between the UK government and the Scottish government about how much of this money is new. Now, the Scottish government has said that the 220 million that was already announced is less than it was expecting. It was expecting 268 million. So Nicola Sturgeon is now saying, well, this new money, she'll have to look and see whether it's new as well, but at least 48 million of it, she's saying, is, is not new because that was just making up for what they're expecting. So once they've looked at that, we'll expect to hear what they might do with it. OK, so what options are open to the First Minister now? Well, certainly this level of funding isn't enough for something like a full lockdown or a furlough. It just wouldn't fund that. But it, it could fund perhaps some smaller additional restrictions or maybe just more money for sectors that are already impacted. The Scottish Government has put aside £100 million for businesses like hospitality and culture that are being impacted by the advice to stay at home at the moment, so perhaps they would get more. So we'll probably hear a bit more about this quite soon, but certainly not a full lockdown on the basis of this cash mm. anyway. OK, Jenny, thank you for that. Well, meanwhile, the Netherlands has begun a month-long lockdown. 